to another NFL prediction. What week is this now, guys? 11. It is week 11. More than halfway it's through. It's week 10. It's week 11. 11. It's more than halfway through uh, the uh, the season so far. And we got we got some good matchups. I, I will give an update, though. Brady, uh, you're still in third place. Mm -hmm. Your record right now is 25 and 25. That means you've got 25 right and you get 25 wrong. And Ethan, you're 26 and 24. Just one ahead. And I am currently at 29 and 21. So I, I, I gained a couple points. We all had matchups. I predicted the Patriots. You guys predicted the Browns. I won that. You picked the Chiefs. We did not. You won that. We all had different – it was a brutal week last week because there was a lot of upsets. And we and then I took a few upsets that didn't come true. And we had a tie with the Lions and the Steelers. So are you guys ready for this week? Yeah. yeah I am. All right. We'll start out with tonight's matchup, which is New England. They're at 6-4. and four, And I did not write down – I do this every time. I did not write down Atlanta's record. I think they're like three and something or maybe four and something. They're not very good. New England travels to Atlanta tonight, and this is a matchup, a rematch of the Super Bowl fight three or four years ago, except the, the, the Falcons are really terrible, and they, there's no Tom Brady in town. So, New England smashed the Browns. They're going to Atlanta. Six and four, I know, is, is New England. Atlanta is probably four and six, or maybe three and seven. Brady, you want to start first? Who are you going with? New England. Going to New England. Yeah, I'm okay. not going to go Gibson in this match. I'm going to see New England. New England's been doing good the past couple weeks, beat a lot of teams. Falcons had a terrible loss last week to the Cowboys. That's definitely a good thing. Yes. But they also did beat, who did they, they beat? beat? They beat New Orleans. New Orleans. Which, it's not at all that great. No. So, but, but still, it was yeah. an upset. It was an upset. But I'm going to go with, um, with the New England for this one. New England is the team that I did not expect to be good, and they are good. Even win their division. The Buffalo is the, they're, they're the favorite to win that. But I'm, I, when New England goes to Buffalo in a couple weeks, whenever that is coming up, I think they might win it because New England looks great. They have a great rookie quarterback. Uh, they smashed the Browns. I don't know if that's good or bad because I don't know how good the Browns are. We all pick Patriots tonight. Then we're going to go on to the 1 o'clock games on Sunday, starting with Indy. They are 5-5, five and five, right in the middle. Taking up that Buffalo team we mentioned, who is six and three, they they beat the Jets last week after a couple losses. What do you think? You think it's going to be Buffalo in Buffalo, or is Indy going to upset the Bills? Well, let's see. See the Bills? Do they have, they had an upset last week, right? Nope. No. They beat the Jets. They beat the Jets last week. Yeah, but they had an upset just a few weeks ago. They, yeah, they lost the to the Indians? Jaguars, and then they lost to Tennessee, which is not really upset. What's that? Who's the Indians? Indianapolis Colts. They're five and five. They've won five, lost five. Bills are six and three. You guys got any projections? I think I'm what? You go first, I guess. Yeah, you go. Can we go? You go. I'll go. I'm gonna you say go. um man, I can't even tell. The Colts, Colts five and five. Bills six and three. Okay, I'm gonna say the Bills for this one. Uh, I could go with the upset. The Bills have lost a, in a lot of upset games, but I'm gonna say the Bills take it take it this week. I coming up. We'll go in a different direction. You're going to go with the Colts. That's a huge upset, Brady. But that's how you come back. Um, so that's, it's not a horrible pick. I'm going to go Bills. Uh, I think they're in Buffalo. If Bills are going to win that division. They need to win this game. Chicago, they're 3-6. and six. They host Baltimore, who lost last week, in a shocker to the Dolphins. Remember that? It was on Thursday night. Baltimore, 6-3, and three, though. Still in the first place in the division. They take on 3-6 and six Bears. I'm going to go make a break for First, and I'm gonna go with Baltimore bouncing back and beating Chicago. So who's the Chicago again? Chicago's the Bears. For They're three team. and six. First ever team. First ever team. Yep. Used to be the Decatur like Stanleys or Stanleys or something. I thought it was the, the Cardinals. No, there was the Chicago Cardinals too. That's the Arizona Cardinals now. What do you think? You go with your Baltimore team, six and three. Or the three and six Bears. Baltimore. I was gonna go for the yeah. upset, but I have to go for my home team. What do you? Do? The home team. They're not your home team. Original home team. You only been to Baltimore one time in your whole life. What do you think? And I didn't even get to go to the stadium. No. What do you think, E? Well, I'm gonna go with Baltimore. I'm. I'm 
you know, I'm try, I'm trying to find some a few upsets to pick this week, but I don't think this one's going to be. Baltimore needs to win. They've lost. They haven't been doing that great. Well, they I lost mean, last week to the Dolphins. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, that pretty easily that's not lost good. to them. I think Baltimore wins this one, though. You're right. Baltimore needs to come back. But it's yeah. good to pick an upset or two. Brady's got his with Indy. You know, what about this one? Cleveland. They're back in Cleveland. They are 5-5, five and five, which is a shocker to a lot of people. They're 5-5. Five and five. They just got smashed by the Patriots. However, coming to town is the Lowly Lions, who are 0-8-1 now since they tied. Yeah. Now, I haven't really followed the Lions, other than the fact that things have been recent. They were, they've been close in a lot of games. I think they were only blown out one time. They, they might have been the Eagles. And they tied Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh beat Cleveland. So is it Detroit's? Is it Detroit's time to win? Yes, you're gonna go you know with the upset. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, you're right. They're in Cleveland. Cleveland. Has been getting very close. The Browns are in Cleveland, and they're still yeah. well. They're not that great. They're not. They were. I, but I don't know. What's your? What, I keep going with trying to say all oh, the Browns are gonna win this week. I'm gonna pick the Browns this week. Because they look good coming in, starting off the season. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna still stick with the Browns. I'm not gonna go with the upset. All right. So I'm toward here because I would say Cleveland, but I know Detroit's gonna get a win eventually, and I picked them twice, and they lost one time easily. They got destroyed, and then they tied. So I'm getting closer. So should I go with Detroit? I'm not going to. I'm gonna go with Cleveland here. Uh, but I, I'm very tempted to take Detroit. Another one o'clock game: the one and eight Texans taking on uh, the eight and two Titans, who could be the best team in football. But the Titans they have been doing well. They've been doing great. They had a great season. I have the quarterback in face football. And Houston stinks. They stink. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go early. I'll pick Tennessee. That's easy. Me too. I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah, no upset in this game. Houston is not any good. Green Bay, they are 8-2. They lost the first game of the year, and now they're 8-2. And, and they're going to Minnesota, their rival, they're 4-5. Uh, what do you guys think? Can Green Bay continue the, the is winning streak? Is Aaron Rodgers back? Aaron Rodgers is back. He played last week, and they won. They beat Seattle. So he's he's good. So he'll be back. He'll be playing. Um, I'll choose Green Bay. What about you? You, kinda, you, you were used to be a Gene Bay Packers fan. I, I, I'm just a little Gene. bit, but uh, yeah, that's what you used to call him. Yeah, I, I, I'm still just a little, a little bit of a fan. And yeah, yes, I was a big fan when I was younger. But even though the Cowboys have always been my number one team, all right. But I'm gonna say no upset in this game. I'm gonna go with Packers. All right, I'm gonna go Packers as well. Even though Minnesota could win, yeah. but they're not. Uh, now here's a game that nobody wants to watch, including the players' parents. Miami, they're three and seven. Now they got the big win over Baltimore last week. Miami goes to the Jets, who are two and seven. So you got three and seven versus two and seven. Miami three and seven. Jets two and seven. Because one, one of us had a buy, one of them has not. What do you think? Any you guys any any I ideas? Don't know. It could it could really go either way. What did you say, Dolphins and Jets? Dolphins are three and seven. Jets are two and seven. But I'm it, going for the upset. What do you think? I'm going for the upset. Which would be the Jets? Uh-huh. Jets for Brady. I think I'm going to agree. I think I'm going to go with an upset. It really isn't that big no. because it, these teams both stink. Yeah. I'm going to say the Jets. It's kind of like a, uh, like a trash can playing at, like a dumpster. But I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Dolphins. They 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 showed up and they and they won a big game against Baltimore. I'm going to. They're going to win again. Uh, you got New Orleans. Who uh, who? One week they're good. The next week they're not. One week they'd be a good team. The next week they'd be a bad team. Uh, they're five and four now, and they're and Jameis Winston is out. He's injured. He's been he's out. I think for the Did year. Did they just beat a good team or lose? <clears> they just team? lost last week. I can't remember who they played, but they lost. They're five and four. Then you got Philly, who's four and six. They're starting to win a couple games. They're in Philadelphia. This is probably so far. This is the toughest one for me to pick, even though I, a couple weeks ago it's easily Saints. But the Eagles have won some. I don't know. What was the record? Five and four for New Orleans. And then you've got that's the Saints. And then you got the four and six Philadelphia Eagles. I'll start out and I'm gonna go ahead and go with New Orleans. They do have a little better record. I think they're a little better team. And I hate the Eagles. So I it's hard for me to pick them. 
I don't like the Eagles either, but I was leaning towards that myself. I'm going to go with the Saints. Go to the Saints. Okay. I'm what going are... to the other team. You're going to go back to Philly? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we got the uh, former of the Washington team, the football team, the Washington, yeah. whatever they are now. They're three and six. They're not any good. They're taking a Carolina, who's five and five. They started out good. Arnold looked great, then he looked horrible. Cam Newton come back with for two touchdowns. He's back now. Who's playing? Carolina. Carolina. Cam Newton is back as a Panther. He did well last week. He's five and five. They're they're five and five, Carolina. Then you got the lowly Washington team coming in at three and six. Don't forget something about Washington. Last week they beat the Buccaneers, right? Buccaneers. Was it yeah. was it then? Yeah. I think so. I know. Which was, the, the, yeah, yeah. Which was a crazy upset. <coughs> it was. A football team without a name yeah. beats, the, beats the Super Bowl champs. champions. Yeah, I forgot about that. When you said something. I knew I, I knew Tampa Bay lost, but I couldn't remember who they lost to. So, Washington coming in to Carolina. They got the cam back. Any idea? I want to say Carolina. Carolina, you're right. They they, they played good last week. Even though they weren't doing all that great at the beginning of the season. But they do have Cam Newton back, and they were playing good last week. Yeah, and okay. Washington, they got an upset last week, but that was just a, a bad game for the Buccaneers. I'm going to say Carolina. I think Cam Newton could come in with a blindfold on this week and still beat the, the Washington team. So I go with Carolina as well. The last 1 o'clock game, the 49ers, who shocked me and beat the Rams on Monday Night Football, they're 4-5. and five. They're taking out Jacksonville in Jacksonville. Tony Khan and AEW guys probably going to be there, maybe. They're 2-7. and seven. Hey, man, They're seven. They might... You might not recognize them because most Jaguar fans should have bat, a bag over their head because they are 2-7. and seven. 49ers are coming to town. I'm going to go with this one early. 49ers beat the Rams. They're, they're in a tough, tough division. But they're going to beat Jacksonville, too. So I'm going to go with 49ers. Jacksonville's, I'm not, I'm not going to go with the upset on this one. Right. Jacksonville's too. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good pick. Now we're going to the 4 Sorry, o'clock games. Know. Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders. They're hosting Cincinnati. This is another tough one because they're both 5-4. and four. Cincinnati was a little better earlier in the year. I'm not sure anymore. Cincinnati's 5-4. and four. They go to Las Vegas, who is also 5-4. and four. They just got walloped by the Chiefs. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go with Las Vegas. Raiders winning this, this game. Uh, they're both they both had even records. Bengals had a good start to their season. They've been playing all right this year. I'm gonna say the Raiders. Raiders are home. Bengals are gonna be, you know, they're not gonna be home. Well, uh, I'm gonna say Raiders. Yeah. Well, see, I was said earlier that New Orleans and Philly was a hard game to take. This is harder for me. I went back and forth. But I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the upset. I'm gonna go with Cincinnati here. I think Vegas is better, uh, but they don't really have a, a official head coach, and they've had some injuries. But I'm gonna go with Cincinnati. If Cincinnati, if they, they've had some. Glimmers of goodness this year. We'll see if this is another one. Now we go on to a tough one because we've got our our Dallas Cowboys. They're seven and two, and we're going to Kansas City, who has battled their way back and taken the lead in the West. They're six and four. That's Kansas City Chiefs. They're in Kansas when City. They, when's that going to be? That's going to be Sunday at four o'clock. All right. You go first since you're so energetic. Chiefs. Cowboys. Cowboys are seven and two. Chiefs yeah, are six. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Is Dak back? Dak is playing. Dak is back. Dak is back. And they're seven and two. Kansas City six and four. Well, this is definitely a tough pick. It's a tough one. If I would have seen this game, like looking ahead into the future, if I would have seen Chiefs and Cowboys last year, I would have said, "Well, I'll root for the Cowboys, of course, because they're my team." Yeah. But I would say the Chiefs will win because. Years ago, they were the Super Bowl right. champions. But I'm going to say the Cowboys are going to win. They've had a great season, won a lot of games, only had two losses, right? Only had two losses, seven and two. Yep. Yeah. The Chiefs haven't had have, have been doing haven't been doing that great, but they're still a good team. But I'm going to say Cowboys win. It'd be a big win for them for sure. It'll be a huge win for them. Looking at this, yes, yes, I've been a Cowboys fan my entire life. And a lot, looking at this, and you know, it's been a long time since they've been good. Are they really worthy of seven and two? Are the Chiefs really six and four? They've been in a couple Super Bowls, right? They've been in the last two Super Bowls in a row. Last two Super Bowls. And won one of them. 
Sadly, as a Lawthorne Cowboys fan, I want the Cowboys to win, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs winning this. They're in Kansas City. And if the Cowboys win, and they win easily, I will be very optimistic about what the Cowboys can do this year. But this is a this is a make or break. I mean, they get, they're in a weak division. They're going to go to the playoffs. And I hate to pick it, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Arizona got beat last week. I mean, who did they lose to? I can't remember. It was a big upset. Uh, well, anyway, they're eight and two now. They're eight and two, and now they play Seattle, who's three and six. I'm in that division. I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna pick Arizona. Me too. They're not losing again. Uh, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna go with Arizona. Cardinals. Cardinals are still really probably the best team in the NFC, or one of the best. And Seahawks aren't they great? Two games. That's, that's Se- the Seahawks are not that good. They're three and six. Two games left. We will mention that the Rams and Denver, the only two teams that have buy this week. We didn't mention that earlier. Pittsburgh on Sunday Night Football, kicking it off Thanksgiving week. They're going to L.A. to take on the Chargers. Pittsburgh's 5-3 and three okay. and 1. And the Chargers are 5-4. and four. What do you guys think? I'm going to say the Chargers. Chargers are a good team. They've been pretty good this year. Um, and I don't like Pittsburgh at all. They're nope. the bottom of the barrel when it comes to teams. Especially because they just got beat. Not because they play beat by the title. Not because they, okay. they're not good, like like as bad as like the Texans or like yeah. the Dolphins or the, or the Jaguars or the Jets. But it's just because they're just terrible. Like how do you, how you like just, Pittsburgh? How? How do you like them? Like, now, if you possible? if you were born and raised or born or, or moved in and raised in Pittsburgh, we'll we'll let that pass. But everybody else, all these Steelers fans, all over, we're in we're in Ohio. There's Steelers fans everywhere. We're from Cowboys fans. We're not from Texas. No. I'm gonna go with the Chargers as well. Uh, Pittsburgh's not that good. They didn't have Big Ben last week because of the protocol, so that's probably why they tied. But he'll be back. But he's they're gonna lose. Plus they're in LA, uh, which will probably be a, it'll feel like a, a home take. I watched uh, Chargers play the Raiders coming to it. And there's more Raiders fans. The Raiders used to be in LA, so they got a good fan base there. But nobody cares about the Chargers. So. The Giants on Monday Night Football taking on the Super Bowl champions. Giants are three and six. Super Bowl champs Tampa Bay is, is the opposite. They're six and three after getting beat by the, the Washington team. Uh, I say Tampa Bay. I'm gonna say Tampa Bay. They're really the, uh, some of these have been kind of tough to pick, but then some of them have been easy. Yeah, and it's just hard to go for an upset. That's right. Uh, even though there was a big upset last week, I'm gonna say. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go with Bucks as well. You go with Bucks. All mm-hmm. guys should go Bucks. Uh, they're not gonna lose the Giants. Not on prime time. Not on Monday night. Not after coming off of a loss. Not Tom Brady. Uh, Bucks win this easily to improve to seven to three. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna buy this thing. Our right. L. A. Rams and, and Denver, Broncos. Denver Broncos. Thank you. Also, next week it'll be week twelve, and it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We'll be doing a Thanksgiving Cowboys. special. Cowboys, Cowboys got a tough game next week. Yeah, they play the Raiders on Thanksgiving. We'll be watching that. The Lions, of course, will also play and entertain no one. Uh, they're uh, also going to be on Thanksgiving because they always are. Thanks for watching. The Lions are always on. They, and they've been for almost 100 years. And the Cowboys as well. Don't There'll mind. be three games next week. Enjoy your football this week, though. We hope your picks uh, are correct. Don't cross the first down line.